Greetings, and today we are looking at our week number three map for our Geo 3 activity. This activity, we are looking at the four hemispheres, or for me, I consider them just the two pairs of hemispheres. If you look at the map here, we will look at the two pairs on the left side and the two pairs on the right side. As you can see from the pairs on the left side, we are looking at the east hemisphere and the west hemisphere. All of these hemispheres are split across at the zero axis. So for the east and west hemisphere on the left, they are split in half at the zero degrees longitude mark, or the prime meridian. As we learned last lesson, the prime meridian runs through Greenwich, England at zero degrees. Anything left or the left side of the prime meridian is part of the western hemisphere. Anything split at the right side of the prime meridian is the eastern hemisphere. As you know, hemi means half and sphere means circle. So we are taking it at the left half of the globe, the western hemisphere, and the right half, the right hemisphere or the eastern hemisphere. On the right side of the globe, or the map, we look and see the other two hemispheres, the north and the south. And again, if we cut it in half at the equator, you'll see that the northern part is obviously known as the northern hemisphere, where everything south of the equator is the southern hemisphere. Now, when you put these two pairs together, you can pretty much set up a method by which to identify any quadrant within the world. So for example, the United States would be in the northwestern hemisphere because we are north of the equator and west of the prime meridian. Similarly, you can look at Australia and you would see that they are in the south hemisphere, but to the east of the prime meridian. So they would be in the southeastern quadrant or southeastern hemispheres. Knowing this again, it allows us to better understand the location of where things are on our globe and provides us a little bit of reference as to where we can find locations relating to other locations. We again are looking compared to north and south, east and west, obviously as our primary directions from the compass. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know and I look forward to seeing you next time.